Well, this is the time of the year when native Chinook salmon return from the ocean to their native rivers in order to begin spawning season. And the salmon ladder at the Nimbus Fish Hatchery provides a safe passage for those fish into some of their spawning grounds. Yesterday, water managers with the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation confirmed to KCRA that they are managing what they referred to as a, quote, dissolved oxygen anomaly. So in short, oxygen levels in the lower American River are too low for the hatchery, but not low enough to stress the fish that are in the river right now. Historically, this has happened during drought years when it's been harder to continuously release cold water from Folsom Lake. According to Reclamation, that is not the issue this time around, but they're working to figure out what is going on. Temperature is not an issue. And in the past, when we had some DO changes, it was because we were in a drought and it was very limited cold water pool and we had to release warmer than what warmer water that we wanted and the DO levels go lower when that happens. This one, we're releasing cold water, but we still had those lower DOs. So anyway, we're going to have to continue to monitor and see why that happened this year, because that's not typically how it works out. Live Copter 3 was over Folsom Dam yesterday and got video of water flowing from the lower release points. This sends out cold water, which sits at the bottom of the lake. USBR says that yesterday's release had been planned for weeks and was not a direct response to those low oxygen levels. California's native salmon population have been struggling for years, mostly because of drought, limiting the amount of cold water that flows through the rivers. But water managers with USBR and managers at the Nimbus Fish Hatchery are confident that those oxygen levels in the lower American River will come up within the next few days. They'll be able to open up the salmon ladder and allow the fish to migrate to where they want to go. At the Nimbus Dam, I'm meteorologist Heather Waldman for KCRA 3 News.